So I will begin now. Um, excuse me if I have to keep stopping to uh, let people into the meeting um, as they arrive. Um, I will take questions at the end if that's OK. I want to try and keep the instructional part of this video as um, short as possible, because obviously I'm going to send the link out um, to everybody that was invited. Um, also, please feel free to share that link with anybody else that you think um, needs to have this information uh, before the event. Um, I'm just going to make sure that everybody's mics are muted. Um, and then at the end, um, I will unmute you all so you can ask your questions. Um, so hopefully you can all see the drug discovery page. If you want to put your hands up at this point, if you can't, just so you can give me an idea if there's a problem. But if everything's OK, then we should be able to see um, the stairwell. This is where the delegates will arrive um, on the first morning. As you can see, there's a help desk here, so if anybody has a problem, they can uh, ask for help. Um, and there'll be LRIG team and Eventflow team members on there so that every person that comes, wh whether they be exhibitors, delegates, poster presenters, they will get the information they need. So upon uh, entering the um, event, you will come into this lobby. Um, the first thing again is there's a help desk. So if you have a problem, the help desk is there also. We have um, an overview here at the front, which is um, all the information you may need on the event. This needs to be updated. It will also have post presenters and exhibitors on here. I think it's just a checkbox, a simple thing, but I couldn't find the way to do that before this meeting, so apologies, um, but that will be on there on the day. And then you'll be able to search the same way as you can the speakers. You'll be able to search for the um, exhibitors and for the uh, post presenters. Uh, before I go any further, I just want to say that Drug Discovery Digital Platform is a bespoke package that has been built specifically for LRIG. Obviously, we've decided to go with our biggest event of the year, um, which is quite um, <laughs> nerve wracking for us. Um, it would have been better if we could test it on a smaller event. But I think that Eventful have done an amazing job for us. There are a few little issues that we are still ironing out. We are continuously testing. Uh, they're very small now, and I assure you that everything will be um, put right by Monday morning. We are opening the doors on Monday morning at 9am. This is to allow delegates, uh, exhibitors, post presenters, everybody to, to come in mostly to test their login. Um, and then if there's any issues, we can put them right before the main event starts on Tuesday, but also to allow people to walk around the posters and the exhibitor hall. We don't expect you to be manning your booths on that day, but um, registrants can come and have a look around, download your PDFs, look at your videos, view your um, your websites, um, and you know, so everything will be live and ready to go Monday morning. So I will take you on a quick tour through um, the rest of the platform. Uh, we have the conference room here, where the main tracks, uh, scientific tracks, will be running from. When people arrive into this room, they will click on the talk that they want to enter and that will take them automatically through to the presentations. If you are running, uh, have a spotlight or an industry inside or a platinum sponsor, this is the room obviously where you will be also. And um, uh, yeah, Claire Cochran will have been in touch with all the information you need for the background of that. Uh, we will take a quick look at the posters. If you've managed to upload a poster before the deadline, then it will be in here. If for some reason you've missed that deadline, please send me your information and I will make sure it is uploaded before the event. We have a slight change on our face-to-face -face meetings in that we are allowing people to add a YouTube video. Uh, so some poster presenters have taken us up on that. Um, so that's a nice additional feature. 
just admit some more people, excuse me. Um, in every uh, poster presenter, you will be able to click on the information and see more about them and contact them direct through this area if you wish. And um, in every room we go into, you'll see this chat fit function and I will come back to that a little later. Workshop room, we will be running some early career professional events in here and also our platinum sponsors are running some hot topic rooms um, where there'll be discussions happening. If you view the programme, it will be sent out tomorrow to everybody. View the programme, you'll see the different options that there are there. And now into the exhibition hall, I'm assuming that most of you have probably already seen this. Um, the layout and the most part is correct for the start of the event. Uh, you will see um, some of the booths in here that are actually just down for our week two, which won't be visible when it when the event starts on Monday, but we've put everybody in here just for now. So some of the, um, move, there will be some movement on some of the booths. To take you to the Elrig booth, this is still um, in a test mode, so you'll see quite a lot of test documents on here, but just to give you an idea of how everything works, uh, you have the opportunity to put a YouTube video here, and I will take you into the back end in a moment and take you through how this happens. A link to your website or any URL that you wish. Uh, we have all the social media links here, uh, downloads to brochures. Uh, some of you be aware that you can also use this for additional YouTube videos. And we have the book a meeting option. This is something that we're still having a few issues with, and um, we will have that straightened out by uh, Monday morning. As I say, it's minimal the um, problems we're having, but we're having a couple at the moment. So I'm just going to quickly send through a request so that we can see this when um, we go into the other system. So I'm going to say on the morning of the 7th, and I'm going to put in a different name here just to distinguish from me and I'm going to meet for 20 minutes on the morning of the 7th. So that's how delegates can come to the booth and can click on this area and they can arrange an appointment time with you. The chat function for the exhibitors. Now there is an update from what it says in the manual. We did say that you will be sent a link out. Um, that was originally Eventflow, we're going to use a third party, uh, but now this is an in-house built system. So there's no link required. Anybody who's registered as an exhibitor staff member on your booth will show up in this area. If they're online, as there is nobody for Elrig at the moment, um, it will show in this area and uh, it will list everybody whether they're online or offline. If they're offline and somebody sends a message, the message will still go through. So the next time you log in, you will see a, um, a little number one, two, however many messages are waiting for you up in this chat function area here. And sorry, just invite somebody else in. Apologies. Um, and so when so if somebody's not on the booth and a message is sent to them, that message will still go through and the delegate will see a message saying that the person is offline, but they will respond when they're online or alternatively to make a meeting on the calendar. We also have other th that's the exhibitor chat. We also have, as I mentioned before, in each of the rooms, this other chat function up here, and this allows all delegates to speak to each other. So even when you don't have somebody coming to your booth, you can be searching out um, as you would do on the exhibition floor. You would see somebody across the hall you want to speak to. You can search people on this chat function and send them a message and try and engage with them in that way. Um, so I think that pretty much takes you through the things that are on the booth. So now I'm going to take you into the back end and show you how you can customise this and how you can accept meetings. So each of your admins have been sent a link which um, they are able to share with you if they choose to do so and that's what this is the area we're in now where your profile link takes you to. This obviously is the LRIG profile link. 
the main contact here is quite important um, for this event because this is the person that will receive the emails when somebody contacts you for a client meeting. Now, if the person whose name is in there for whatever reason cannot um, check their emails, then anybody with a link to this profile can come in here and see meetings waiting. So, but it is better that the person that is named as the main contact is able to check their emails throughout the meeting and be able to go through the process that I'm going to take you through in a moment. Um, the other things in here are um, the um, webs the link to the website is quite easy. You can put a URL and it will link to your website. If for some reason you don't want your website page to be the front page, I think some people have cookies or COVID messages that make the image not look so good. And, and that is the case in the LRIG case. So we have just a, a PDF, um, a, sorry, a JPEG image loaded here, and that's what shows on our screen here. You can also link it to any URL you choose. So this is the URL here if you want it to go to an alternative site. If you are using your website, then you just put in the URL and click fetch image, and it will fetch an image. Sometimes this takes a few minutes to work, but it will fetch an image of your website. It's really easy to test if you want to try your website. If it looks good, stick with it. If it doesn't, then change to the um, the, the the other image of, as Elrig have. Uh, take you through the different areas. Um, you can edit the colour of your booth to whichever colour you want. This, these links, I think this is all quite self-explanatory, but your YouTube link that you add in here is the one that will uh, be on the front page. As you see, we have a Steve Reese video here. Um, we, um, sorry, I will find what I'm looking for. Brochures, that's what I was looking for. So I'll just take you along the top here. Um, these are the people that are registered in your booth. Each of your exhibitor staff must have their own login. It's different to a face-to-face -face meeting, meeting where somebody can log every, register everybody. In this case, everybody needs their own login. So if for any reason there's a problem there and you haven't, uh, you've been registered by somebody else, please either contact them to find out what the uh, the login details are so you can log in on the day or contact us so that we can create a login for you. So coming back to the client meetings that we looked at earlier, this is the meeting that I put through for the morning of the 7th of October. I want Sanj Kumar to take this meeting so I'm going to set him as the main person. I'm going to click on the 7th of July and can see that Sanj can meet with Bethan in the morning at 10 o'clock. Now, if there was a number of meetings waiting, you would drop down this list and select the meeting as, as it is. There's only one here for us. So we're going to select this meeting and set the appointment time. That is then automatically going to create an email that you can then send out to Bethan to um, arrange that meeting. Once the person comes back and agrees the time or potentially um, they amend the time, you click on this area, set the time and then set the appointment. Oops. Sorry, wrong thing. It was the tick box at the top to confirm appointment. and it's now showing as confirmed. The brochure section is where you can add your brochures and as I mentioned before you can also put additional YouTube links in here. We have limited it to five. Um, I think at future events we will try to extend this to more. It has been asked by a number of um, vendors if, if it is possible. For this event it will be limited to five uh, but the event flow team will work on extending that for future events. If you have any recent press release you want to add in you can here and then you will receive information about the people that have visited your booth in this last area. We will also send out all the post delegate lists um, so you will know everybody who'd registered and who everybody who's attended. But this is specific to the, event, the visitors to your site and you can download a, a, a CSV file of those people that have come to your site. So I'm going to open the floor now to see if anybody would like to ask questions.
So if you would like to raise your hand. Hi. Oh. Hi. That's okay, you can carry on. No, no, sorry, you put your hand up. I didn't I'm not used to this platform. So That's you okay, ahead. you carry on. Okay, thank you. Um hi Tara, thanks for this meeting. Just a question about the um the exhibition hall. So I'm just wondering um if you'll have the room uh, numbers. I mean, will there be will they be numbered and um will delegates be able to see which exhibitor is in which room or or is it randomized so that um so that the same exhibitor isn't in the same spot if you know what i mean because yeah i'm not sure if it's quite um i don't know if delegates will be too fussed looking at different rooms unless they're actively seeking that exhibitor Yes, yeah, so there's two things. There is a room number on the, if you can see on the wall here, and you do have a booth number. It's not something that we really envisage being used that much. What what you can do is send links out to your booth. So if you're doing any marketing um, campaigns, you can send a link out and, and the link has been provided to um, each of you, the, the, my main contacts within your organisation, but I can send it out to anybody who needs it if you just drop me an email. So that's one way of making sure people come direct to your booth. It is envisaged that people will wander around it. There's not many halls, I've got to say, um, it, but it isn't randomised. It is um sorry came out there it, we have placed um the vendors in a first come first save basis and the platinum sponsors do have um uh, the the front of the hall so these are our platinum sponsors in week one and thereafter it's on a first you know the first person to purchase and so on and we've done it in that manner um and then we move back and we have our innovation zone although we haven't specifically got an innovation zone at this event we do have people who are clusters innovation booths and then we have our partners and uh, GSK have a careers booth so I don't know if that answers your question uh, yes it does thank you but if you could um, send me the link directly to the booth that would be really helpful thanks could I ask you just drop me a quick email on that and then I'll do that yeah. it's tara.shanks at yeah. lrig.org yeah I will do thanks Tara thank and thank you, you Karen. thank you OK, um, if I just go through and unmute people and just ask you, sorry if I'm not taking you in the order that um, you. Uh, sorry, Abby, I don't know how to unmute. Abby, can you ask your question now? Hi, Abby. I realised I had to unmute myself. Sorry. Um, I was there... trying to do it. I just couldn't work out how to do it. I'm sorry. That's fine. Sorry. Um, is there a deadline for us updating our booths, or can we still keep, you know, editing content up until the sip? You can you can keep editing throughout the event if you want to. There is really no. It's what what you want people to see. That from our side of things, there is no. Um, deadline we would hope that it looks nice and have you know complete information in there for the start of the event but you can switch things out and move things around as you wish okay thank you okay uh ben ben scrubs hi uh it's just got a few questions um the first one being on the spotlight presentation if it is over five minutes does it completely have a hard stop or will it overlap a little bit with the next one and people just leave as they need to um there won't be a hard stop we will let it run we are checking the um lengths of videos um so if there was a concern somebody would be in touch about it um that that's uh, an ongoing process at the moment that we have somebody testing or not testing but you know watching through just to make sure that all the videos whether it be the scientific speakers or the the spotlights just making sure that everything works okay so if there's any issues that somebody will be in touch with you okay cool um and i think the next one being for the posters we've had three accepted uh but just wondering that on each poster in the board, it has a different stand number. So 32, 33 and 35 in our case, um, instead of the 25, which is our stand, I think. Right, so that's a poster stand number. 
as opposed to a booze ah, number. Okay, there's, no, sorry, con- there's no connect. That's that's one thing um, that possibly is a, a, for development for the future to connect between your booth and the poster, but there isn't. Okay, cool. Um, and just that, I think when we were initially looking at the booth, our number was E10. Um, and then obviously had a look this week to C25. I was just wondering uh what why that happened maybe i think i think there's been an issue sorry somebody did raise this with me a couple of days ago and they helped me to answer it i think there's an issue with our original uh dd that should have run this year um our face-to-face and that would have been your booth number that was at the face-to-face meeting i believe ah okay i think i think that's the issue thank you very much okay thanks um can thank you uh Rusa from UPM. Hello, Tara, can you hear me? I can hear you, thank you. Great. So I would have a question. Uh, Can I edit my personal profile, what I have created afterwards? Yes. I would like to add the picture and the links. Would Would you mind to like quickly show how to do it or where to click because I'm now I've been trying to do it, but cannot like navigate with the correct button. Or should I send an email to someone? Could you send send an email to me because it's not something I would yeah. be able to go direct to. Um, it's not something I do that often. Uh, but yeah, okay. I definitely can help you if you could send me an email on that. Great, right. thank you. Okay, um, can I just say if anybody needs to drop off, please just either send me like leave me a message in the chat function here, or send me a quick email afterwards. I will respond. But if you're willing to hang on with me a few minutes. That would be great. Uh, Joanne, Joanne Walters, Joe, hi, how are you? Hi, hi Tara. Um, yeah, a few, a few probably really stupid questions. And um, if we've submitted a poster, do we have to get an acceptance or do we assume it's accepted? It will be accepted. I can double check for you and make sure that okay. yours has come through and it's there, but they, they're all accepted. Okay, and another one actually that's the same sort of scenario. I uploaded my talk. I assume that someone will tell me if there's a problem. Yes, somebody will tell you. I've actually got my son working on that, Joe, so I will ask him specifically. I've, he's, he's making a list. He, I think he did the the the, the balance of ones that had come in so far last night. Um, okay. So we, we will confirm that with you and make sure that you know that everything's okay. Yeah, um, you showed really nicely how to book um, meetings, etc. So this is a really stupid question. Hopefully someone else is thinking it too. Where do these meetings take place? Or do I organise a separate Zoom or a call or something? It's not a stupid question. I should have mentioned that yet. That is for you then to arrange. That's for you to bring it off the platform and arrange in whichever yeah way you want to have that meeting. Fantastic. And last one, because I know other people are waiting. Um, uh, you upload brochures etc via a link to your website we're obviously a startup we've got a couple of pdfs we want to we'd like to share but they're not through our website is there any other way of doing that it's i don't think it needs to be through the website sorry if that's okay, a wording issue a link. okay so I can yeah just it just needs to be a link sorry joe you did say i didn't pick that up in your email the other day that Okay. But no, it doesn't. That's probably the wording. And apologies for the wording in the in the the manual has to be written as we were building it. So yeah, some of it's a l- little bit off. I'm sorry. I can somehow just upload a PDF then in the brochure bit. Yeah, you just had a link in. It is it is really quite simple. But I know until you do it, it's not that obvious. Okay, fine. I will try again. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Joe. Karen Poundsmith. Hi. Hi, Tara. On the reporting, are you able to pull off at any time or do you have to wait until the end of the conference? The, the, the reports that I showed you in the stand, you can pull off at any time. OK, lovely. So the, inten- the intention there is it will show you the names of people, but you won't get their email addresses because I wanted you to have the ability to know everybody who's arrived at the um, platform. Sorry, at your OK. <laughs> have to do some cross-referencing when you get the list at the end if they do allow you to contact them direct. Lovely, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Um, So let's see who the next person is.
So I think that's all the questions. If I'm missing anybody, I do apologise. Please just drop me an email afterwards. But I think that's all the hands. Uh, so I really appreciate your time. I'll send this video out. If I have missed anything, if there's anything, please just let me know. Um, I think a phone call would be the best way to get hold of me and to get a quick answer in the next couple of days. So if you're happy to call me, I'm happy to take a call at any time. Um, and don't worry about the hour of day. Um, we just want this to be a success for everybody. So please feel free to ring me anytime, 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. Not an issue. So thank you all for your time. Thanks, Tara. Thank you. Thank Bye you. now. Thanks, Tara. Bye-bye. Thanks. Tara. Thank you, Tara. Thank you.